The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma. Georgian government will subsidize Katiteli and Kahurim Tsane grape costs by 2030 this year, said Otar Shamugia, Minister of Environment, Protection and Agriculture. The minister spoke about the preparations for the 2023 winter and opportunity for Georgian entrepreneurs to have access to the world markets at the meeting chaired by Prime Minister Irak Garibashvili. That year we had a growth of up to 30 percent and we will maintain this dynamic this year. We have an increase in the export of alcoholic beverages as well, the minister said. Otter Shamugia explained that those plants which will receive Katiteli and Kahorim Tsani grapes at the price of 90 tetris per kilogram will receive subsidy from the government in the amount of 20 tetris. In the second quarter of 2023, the residential property price index in Georgia increased by 3% compared to the previous quarter, while the annual increase amounted to 13.1%, according to the preliminary data from the National Statistics Office of Georgia. Compared to the 2020 average, the index change amounted to 28.8%. The residential property price index covers the market of new residential property in Tbilisi, both flats and detached houses segments. In the second quarter of 2023, a price increase compared to the previous quarter was registered both in flats and detached houses. Compared to the second quarter of 2023, the price increase in both segments for flats by 10.6% and for detached houses by 16.2%. The share of European Union in the Georgia's exports is decreasing. In six months of 2023, Georgia exported 398 million US dollars of goods to the EU, which was 80% less than the previous year. According to Geostat, the decrease is mainly due to the reduction in the exports of copper ores and nuts. As a result, the EU's share in Georgia's 3 billion US exports was only 13%. In comparison, the volume of exports in the whole EU this year was lower than only in Armenia. According to the data, the top five exporting commodities to the Europe via cooperers and concentrates, mineral fertilizers, nuts and walnuts, alcoholic beverages and computers. In the first half of 2023, among the EU member states, only two countries, Bulgaria and Spain, are included in Georgia's top 10 exporting countries. This December, we expect a fair decision from Europe with regard to the EU candidate status, said Georgian Prime Minister Irak Garibashvili at the joint briefing with the Prime Minister of Croatia, Andrei Plenković. According to the Prime Minister, this will be another historic decision and well-deserved recognition of the successful reforms and positive transformation of Georgia. Visa liberalization, the association agreement and free trade agreements with the European Union are the tangible achievements of our government's hard work in the last 10 years. Last year, the European Council, EU leaders and thank you again, Croatia decided to recognize the European perspective of Georgia, which created unprecedented momentum on our European integration path. For over one year since this historical decision, Georgia has demonstrated a strong will to live up to its commitment and become a member of European Union, he said. Georgian Prime Minister Erkel Garibashvili, accompanied by a delegation, paid an official visit to the Croatia. Within the scope of the visit, the head of the Georgian government held high-level bilateral meetings in Zagreb and participated in the official opening of Georgian embassy in Croatia. The work on 12 priorities is clearly in progress. Several weeks ago, the European Commission presented the so-called oral update. According to European Commission, out of 12 recommendations, three have been fully implemented, said Pavel Kherchinsky. EU ambassador to Georgia. The EU ambassador said that with two recommendations, Georgia needs to accelerate. This is the Freedom of Media and the Oligarchization Bill. On the remaining seven recommendations, there is some progress, but we are waiting for further progress. So the picture is mixed, which from my point of view is rather positive. There is still time. The European Commission will issue the enlargement report in October. And of course, we are all looking forward to the decision to take by 27 EU member states at the highest political level, at the level of EU heads of government about the next steps when it comes to EU-Georgia relationship. This decision is expected in December and I sincerely hope that Georgia will move one step forward on its path to EU membership, which means candidate status, but again it's the, in the hands of 27 EU member states, he said. 
Levan Davitashvili, Vice Prime Minister and Minister of Economy and Sustainable Development, met with Konstantin Limitovsky, Vice President of Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. The meeting focused on the priorities of Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank's future activities in Georgia. Levan Davitashvili spoke about Georgia's economic trends liberal investment, climate and ongoing projects. The minister noted that Georgia could play a crucial role in terms of improving ties between countries and economies in the region and creating desirable investment environment at the crossroads of Europe and Asia. The Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank Vice President stressed prolific cooperation with Georgia and pledged readiness for future partnership. Varkatili metro station will not close during the construction work set to Bilisi Mayor Kahakaladze at the municipal government meeting. According to Kahakaladze, modernization and technical refurbishment of subway stations is the main component of Tbilisi City Hall's transport policy. The mayor would to keep society informed about all preliminary decisions. One of the main components of our transport policy is the subway which transport the most passengers during the day and one of the most important components is the rehabilitation, improvement and elimination of all existing problems, he said. Kakakaladze further reported that Mamisoni company, which won the tender, failed to meet the commitments, causing the suspension of reconstruction works this time, but the construction will carry out the work, which will take 18 months, Kaladze said. The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma.